Hi, this is Jeannie at Trendy Tree, and today I'm going to show you how to make ties for a face mask. I did a face mask uh, tutorial uh, yesterday, and uh, we're just really running out of elastic for face masks, so I've started making ties. Now, you can make those out of bias tape, twill tape, uh, if you can find it. So, But today, what I'm going to do is just use the scraps from my... Uh, uh, face mask material. I've been able to get about 12 masks from a yard of fabric, 30, 36 inches by 44. So with the scraps, I'm making 16 inch ties. So the first thing you want to do, and I apologize for the lighting, this is in my closet y'all, but you take a, a piece of material 16 inches in length and one inch in width, and you want to press it Pressing just makes it a little easier uh, to put together. And the first thing you want to do is uh, turn it over on the wrong side and press the edges together. Just go ahead and, and press that. Okay, and then, so you've got it press together like that. Now then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take that outer edge and fold it to the center, which is about a quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna press along that edge and we're gonna try to stay on that edge without uh, pressing over the center. We don't wanna lose our first crease that we made in the fabric. So just press along that outer edge We want to do that on both sides. So just bring that outer edge almost to the center and then just stay right on that edge with your iron. Now these won't be perfectly straight. I mean, good gracious, they don't have to be. They're just kind of serving the purpose. The nursing home where my dad is, is running uh, low on face masks, so we're trying to give them something that the staff can use. So now we're going to fold it together and we're going to wind up with about a quarter inch tie. So we're going to fold it together and press again. Just going to, the main thing you want to do is get those raw edges covered up so they don't fray. I like to use a little steam on mine and then turn it over and press again on the other side. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is just zigzag along that edge. 